Hey, welcome to another rock hard tale of the tapes. My name is Torch. Today we're going to take a look at Baton Rouge. Crack and everything. As you can see, this one got a little beat up. Shake Your Soul is the name of this one from uh, 1990. It was ending the uh, near the ending for the hair bands. You know, big bands still at that time were Warrant, Skid Row, Bon Jovi, Poison. Uh, but it was starting to wind down a little bit, and they started signing a lot of bands, you know, hoping something would stick and, and hoping that uh, they'd be the next big thing. Baton Rouge was one of those bands. Uh, I thought this was a, actually a fantastic debut uh, for this time period. Um, some very, very memorable songs. They had a great groove to them. You know, they were a little bit more uh, southern, uh, bluesy. Um, they weren't your traditional hair band. And, you know, they had some hair, but they, they looked a little bit maybe closer to Tesla than Poison. They weren't doing the makeup thing and so forth. But uh, this this was a great record. There's a lot of very memorable songs on here. The first release uh, they came out was um, Walks Like a Woman. It did okay. Uh, I remember there was quite a bit of hype and, and even pretty decent critically acclaimed album um you know even though we were starting to get toward the end and uh you know bands again like poison winger and all those were really all over the airwaves but you were starting to feel something brewing underneath which would be kind of grunge and alternative so things were kind of nearing the end and they would put out another album too a couple of years later that didn't do as well and it wasn't as strong a material either uh, as this one um, but there's some great songs on here I just remember um, even some ballads and I was by this time not really big into the ballads but uh, there's uh, there was a time uh, was a great song uh, Melanie great song too uh, you know big trouble it's about time bad time coming down great rock and tune so it's just a fun record it hasn't held up you know the greatest over the years although it's better than some i mean to me it's still just pretty much straight up rock you know kelly keeling the uh the singer uh he he uh isn't overly happy or proud with uh the first couple albums he did uh and talking to him in an interview um but he will admit that there were some good songs on there just maybe the production was a little different and he's gone on to work with ingve momstein uh, michael schenker group and he's still pretty sought after vocalist so definitely some talent in this band for sure uh you know it just came down to timing again but uh baton rouge shake your soul if you haven't uh listened to this one for a while give it another shot it's it's a pretty good album um and it really just has that feel of the late 80s and that big arena rock sound uh big hooks big chorus great guitar solos uh, everything was certainly there just you know maybe timing was uh was really the issue with the Baton Rouge, shake your soul. All right, thanks for joining me. See you again next time for another Rock Hard Tale of the Tapes. You can find us online anytime at rockandhardplace.rocks.